Woo! Mm, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Ladies, are you all flashing? I'm talking about those hot flashes. Those flashes that come out of nowhere. They don't give you no warning. They just show up. It is crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. I have been flashing. It started the latter part of last year. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? It is crazy. It was crazy and it still is crazy. Um, but the thing about it is, why? That's what I wanted to know. Like, why is this happening? What is happening inside of my body that causes it to set itself on fire? <laughs> and thank goodness that it doesn't last that long. But if you are getting them on a continuous basis, like I probably receive maybe two flashes a day now, but I'm going to tell you what I have been doing to help combat these flashes. Okay. So I'm going to show you a smoothie that I make, but I'm also going to uh, talk about, not today, but I'm going to make another video because I really want to talk about what is happening inside our bodies when we are going through menopause, right? Why do we get, it's kind of sticking out there. Why do we get um, bloated? Why do our bellies start rounding out as though we're drinking beer on a daily basis? Why is this happening? And what can you and I do to help combat this, to, to get that weight off? There is something that um, I am going to share with you to help you through this period, period of your life. But one thing I will say prior to making the video is do not work harder and eat less. Do not go to that gym and kill yourself trying to work it off, work it off, work it off. And I'm going to tell you why. And that is you're making it worse. So stay tuned for my upcoming video. I'm only talking to those of you who are out here flashing like me. <laughs> okay. So anyway, what I want to show you guys is this is a smoothie that... If you make this smoothie in the morning, like prior to your caffeine, because caffeine is a trigger, can be a trigger for that flash, that caffeine, because remember, something is happening. And when we drink that caffeine, whether it's a hot cup of tea, a hot cup of coffee, a Coca-Cola soda, whatever it is, we're triggering, okay? So we're going to stop all that, but I'm going to show you this smoothie. If you make this in the morning before that, it really, really helps and you will see the difference. So I want to share with you all what I'm doing in the morning. Yes, I'm still drinking my lemon water, but that's first thing in the morning. So I went to the gym this morning and so now I'm back. No, I didn't work out in this <laughs> uh, sweater. This is just a cover for when I go to the gym. So the first thing I want to, to show you guys is, let me see, can I move my camera here? Okay, see this right here. Okay, so I'm using spinach. It's always best to um, uh, make this smoothie and you know get, add some greens and stuff to the smoothie. But one of the things I wanna show you is protein. Again, protein is going to be your friend. You need to get the protein in. And this is a plant-based protein. And so what I do is I use this protein. This protein here um, has uh, 26 vitamins and minerals. And one of the vitamins that I definitely look for, especially uh, with a plant-based lifestyle, is vitamin B12. If you are deficient in B12, you might start feeling like mental fatigue. You, st you might start feeling like you can't get enough sleep even though you slept 14 hours, but you still wake up sleepy, though that's a sign that you are dealing with a deficiency and that deficiency may be your B12. Okay, so I'm gonna put a scoop of this protein so you all can see it here. It comes with a scooper. I'm just gonna dump it right in that smoothie, right? So this protein, 
The next thing I'm going to add are um, super reds. And what this is doing is this is going to help my, um, with cardio health. This is um, cardio health uh, circulation. That's really, really important. So I'm also, I'm just gonna add uh, just a scoop of the red. So you all can see it comes with a scooper. I'm dumping that right in there as well. Last but certainly not least, that's gonna help me combat these hot flashes. Can anyone take a guess? Okay, it is sea moss. Now you all know, I've been talking about sea moss for what, two, three years now? I'm still taking the sea moss. It is helping, it is helping. So basically what I do is I just put a spoonful, as you all can see. I just put a spoonful in there, okay? And that, ooh, a little bit want to get in there. Okay. And so after that, I buy, um, I buy these little packages. This is like uh, a mixture, it's already measured. Uh, it's, it's like a smoothie maker. So I just take this and I'm going to add all of it. So this is like a, a breakfast treat, but I'm, I'm doing it because I know what it is that I need, okay? All right, guys, so here it is. This is my smoothie. And last but surely, 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 not least, is I like coconut water. Coconut water has its advantages as well. We're talking calcium, we're talking potassium, we're talking magnesium. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be talking about magnesium and why everybody, especially those of us that are experiencing hot flashes, should be taking magnesium. So anyway, I'm gonna feel, shake this bad boy up. I'm gonna stand back so y'all can see me a little bit better here. I'm gonna add this coconut water to this smoothie. I'm gonna add about half of it. I let it come up to be about that far. Okay. And then I just put my top on. I shake it up. This is just me. Shake it up. And then I just put it in my, my bullet. And that is it. I make this smoothie every morning. And I'm telling you, it has made a difference. Another thing, if you don't already know, um, if you're not taking it, you might want to invest, invest in a very good brand. I'm gonna share that as well. And this is definitely gonna help your digestive system and it's gonna help your gut health as well with those microbiomes and all that kind of stuff. And it is, you guessed it, probiotics. If you're not taking a probiotic, you might want to consider it. And remember, remember that whenever you start something or change something, you should always consult with your medical doctor, okay? So I'm just passing this information on to those of you that are looking to combat these hot flashes. Uh, but stay tuned to my upcoming video. I'm gonna talk again about menopause and what we can do right now to help and what combat menopause to help, you know, keep those hot flashes at bay. Um, and I'm gonna share with you what is really going on. Why are these hot flashes coming? What is happening? And then I'm also gonna share with you something really interesting uh, that my medical doctor told me, um, which really, really surprised me and really had me thinking. <laughs> but anyway, guys. <laughs> See, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Have a good day and always remember to allow food to be your medicine and never ever your poison. This is Dr. B, love you all and take care.